Okay, uh, today we chosen to do a, a sea urchin that we found through Google Images. Me and my daughter already started painting it, and uh, we used girls petunia purple. That's the lightest purple I could find. Okay, from this other angle, it looks a little bit better, a little bit lighter. Um, so what we're going to do is you always got to do the base first, the base color. And if we wanted this even lighter, could have added a little bit of water, uh, white to it. But uh, we're just going to use this color. That way it's easy to follow through. And uh, always try to put a, a cloth down so that it doesn't go on a table. So you got to let this dry and then come back. Okay, so we flipped it over and uh, it's completely dry. We're going to now do the bottom. My daughter's doing it. She's really good. And yeah, remember the outside edges are dry, so you can turn it. You can turn it a little bit. I know. Head on. You might want to cover it a couple times to make it yeah. clear. There you go. Mm -hmm. Alright, so she's going to go ahead and finish that up, and then we'll be back. Okay, it looks like it's done. I'm going to go ahead and touch it real lightly. Alright, no paint. Okay, it's definitely done. Touch a couple other spots, just to be sure. Yeah. Does it feel sticky? Feel wet at all? No. Okay, so let's go ahead and take it and flip it over. Okay. So, honey, if you could go ahead and just draw right around the rock, okay, just like that. Okay. Just follow all the way around. Trace out the rock. We're gonna draw our design for the starfish. Uh, like like the starfish, because all these sea urchins look like they had a starfish on there. Okay, so it's easier to draw on here than it is on uh, the thing here. Can you hold that? Yeah. Okay, try not to move it too much. Go to the center and draw a little circle. And uh, let's see, we're going to go like this. That's why we're doing it on paper, because on paper you can mess up and you start over it. again. Yeah, you can erase it and start over again. Okay, so there we go. I think we're gonna. I think that'll work. So that's how it's gonna look like. So when now we're. we're done. All right. So we got the uh, circle on top, and we got the lines, and As you now can see. we're gonna go ahead and uh, start to paint it. This is where to go. Blueberry two one one seven eight blueberry. Okay, so we started with the the blueberry color. And I kind of showed her what to do. Rest the hand on the counter. And then uh, just kind of stick it above and lightly. It's okay if you go over a little bit. You can always correct. That's why if you use the standard colors, you can always cover it back up. Now you notice how she's taking real small amounts and she's pulling the brush downwards. You have more control like that. And you notice how... And if you're running out of paint, flip it over. So, you know, a kid, if a kid can do that much control in there, that that's just showing you the power of resting your hand and dragging down slowly. It gives anybody full control. Look at how good she's doing. Isn't she doing great? All right, so I'm going to go ahead. Every time she does this now, she's going to turn a rock so that it's always facing her somewhat and I can see what I'm doing so I don't better. mess up yeah there you go you and don't, flip it up you don't want to go all the way down because you don't want it to stick to the paper okay you want to come mm. down close but not 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 all the way down and as you can see I did that get line some, yeah get some more paint you did really good and then see at the top oh you just add that black on top and everything's going to mix really nice that's why I wanted you to wait on the black all right, so we're going to come back uh, when she goes ahead and uh, finishes up the rest of these. So with a little bit of supervision, you can get your kids interested in art and learning and using their creativity. And, and instead of being bored all day, you have something to do. Right, instead of just games or videos and actually making yeah. your own videos. All right, so as you can see, my daughter did really good, but she also missed a little bit, like right there. But that's okay, and I'm glad that she did. Uh, she's got a very steady hand, but you know what happens. It happens to me, too. And I'm going to show you when it dries what we can do and why you want to use standard colors. What I'm going to do is just going to touch up just a little bit. 
Now see, it looks like it's not going to be the same, but it is because it's the original color. Okay, so you did such a good job. Man, there's very, very little to repair here. You can always go back. You just don't want to do it too many times. All right, so now we're going to let that dry. Before we do the Sim lines, yes. we're going to um, use this black. For the top. You want to do the top the first? Top. Okay, so after shaking it up, we got something. Now remember, get the good tilt on there. Okay, there you go. Okay, try to thin it out. Don't put it too much of a blob. You're doing a great job. Don't go too much bigger than that. There you go. All right. And there's right. Cool. Yeah, if you can just, right here, just get a little bit more curve on there. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, draw the large opening on the bottom. I was thinking of doing black, but I think we're going to go with the cream color to really make it look like you're looking at the inside of it. And the color we're going to use is a 21378 Vanilla Ice Cream. We brought down these lines to the bottom, and we also added um, this um, yellowish whitish spot to the bottom. And now it's all dry, we're going to do the dots. Alright, so I went ahead and uh, drew the circle as if you were looking through the bottom at the top hold on honey and then i drew the lines to show as in right here see like like how you can see that if you're looking through the hole so that's what i try to portray there and my daughter's going to go ahead and outline the lines and then she's going to go ahead and she's going to uh color the uh center uh you want to go ahead and tell us about it honey oh gonna... uh, you might want to make the sh the um paintbrush like really thick and you might want to have it um a paintbrush like this so you can outline a very the thin lines. one huh yeah and so look how she's resting her hand you see that see how she's resting her hand that's how she gets the stability now we're going to take the black and we're going to outline those blueberry lines all right you ready she thinks she can handle it i think she can too Look at that steadiness. Very good. All right, keep it up, honey. You're doing so good. Look at that. Paintbrushes for $4 too. But still, a lot of mistakes. Why? Because we're human. It's, it's easy. So it's not about my daughter making mistakes. It's me too. So anybody's going to make mistakes. Don't worry about it. You can always cover it up with the paint again if you use a standard color. Bought these little beads um to go on the black lines for four forty a dollar and forty seven. It just takes a while because it's a glue that doesn't dry quick. You can move it around and kind of position it. And that's why I like this glue better than the hot gum glue. Oh, absolutely! I like the hot, hot gum gum glue. Take um, it doesn't take as long as the um school glue. But it dries quickly like a glue stick. Yeah. And it makes it hard to work with, huh? Yeah. Um, these are the two ways you can make um these this seashell. Um, you can use it with the beads or you can use it without the beads, any way you like. Um, we bought this glitter glue spray bottle at Walmart for four dollars.